The average Brawl Stars player has a player level of 83. There are around 6,000 trophies. They have 19 brawlers, including one legendary brawler. And the average Brawl Stars player thinks that they are better than the average Brawl Stars player. <laughs> are you actually better than the average Brawl Stars player? Are you a pro? Are you more casual or hardcore? I surveyed 20 thousand Brawl Stars players to answer these questions for you guys. Hope you enjoy. Like I said, I surveyed 20,000 Brawl Stars players and have sorted through all of the data so that I could make this video for you. And it's gonna be a great video. We'll cover the casual to hardcore scale to determine how much you actually play the game in comparison to other people that downloaded the game at a similar time to you. We'll talk about how lucky you are in regards to how many rare brawlers you have unlocked. And of course, we're gonna go over the noob to pro scale to determine whether or not you're actually as skilled as you think you are. But before we do that, I wanted to explain a little bit about the data that is behind this video. Out of the 20,000 people that completed the survey, 9.5% of them were players from 21 months ago, back when Brawl Stars was first released on iOS in Canada. 4.3% have been playing for 14 months since iOS beta was expanded to several other countries in uh, Scandinavia and Asia. 13.2% have been playing for the past 8 months since the beta was expanded to Android as well. 3.4% have been playing for the past month or less. 7.2% have been playing for the past 2 months and 62.2% downloaded the game when it was released globally. Now you don't have to worry about these various different populations ruining the data for today's video. I took all of that into account, even though it took me a lot of time so that you could see how you compare to similar players. I mentioned earlier that the average Brawl Stars player thinks that they're uh, more skilled than the average Brawl Stars player. Interestingly enough, 60% thought they were at least better than average. Three out of five would be average. Now this is a very important for the rest of today's video. This is my big fat disclaimer that the numbers in today's video are actually likely representing a slightly more dedicated and a slightly more skilled player base than the actual player base of Brawl Stars. I got a massive sample size of 20,000 players to try and minimize this as much as possible. I still think there are plenty of casual players and less skilled, I guess the real term is noobs who also watch me on YouTube. I don't think that the data is too far off, but it is something to consider when watching the rest of this video. Also, just a note, if you're subscribed to me on YouTube, I'm pretty sure that already makes you a more skilled player in Brawl Stars. So uh, yeah, you should probably subscribe. Now is the time we get to compare you to every other brawler in the game and determine how hardcore of a player you actually are. While the noob to pro scale will help you determine how much skill you have, the casual to hardcore scale will help determine how much you play in comparison to other people that downloaded the game at a similar time as you. Because yes, you can be a hardcore player even if you suck at the game. Now I can tell you this because player level is actually determined based off of the XP that you have gained from all of the matches that you have played in Brawl Stars, whether you won or you lost. So the more you've played, no matter when you downloaded the game, the higher your player level is going to be. You are a super casual player if your player level is 41 or lower if you're a global player, 51 or lower if you're an Android beta player, and 63 or lower if you're an iOS beta player. Those beta player positions you're referring to to the time that you downloaded the game, not the actual device that you're playing on. Android is eight months ago, iOS is beyond eight months ago. You are a casual player if your player level is 42 to 65 if you're a global player, 52 to 86 if you're an Android beta player, 64 to 104 if you're an iOS beta player. You're an average player if your player level is 66 to 76 if you're global, 87 to 105 if you're Android, 105 to 128 if you're an iOS beta player. You're above average or a dedicated player if your player level is 77 to 89 for global, 106 to 123 for Android, 129 to 151 for iOS. And you're a hardcore player if your player level is 90 or higher for global, 124 or higher for Android, and 152 or higher for for iOS. As somebody who plays Brawl Stars more than average, but also has to spend time to actually make videos, to make a living, for my family to eat, I'm an iOS beta player at a player level of 134, making me a dedicated player. Woohoo! 
Okay, now let's talk about how lucky you are, and then we'll talk about the noob to pro scale. I get people asking me how lucky are they are for having X amount of brawlers all the time, and uh, now we can actually answer that question. The vast majority of the survey responders had all eight Trophy Road brawlers. The average was 7.8. Almost every single survey responder had all three rares. On average, players had a 3.5 of the super rares. So actually about half of the players still have not unlocked Carl yet, or they're still missing one of the other super rare brawlers. On average, players have about 2.4 of the three epic brawlers. They only have 1.7 of the three mythic brawlers. Brawlers. And we're actually going to break down the legendary brawler rates a little bit more since uh, it takes a little bit more time to unlock those. Players of one month have 0.5 legendaries. So do half of the players really get a legendary within the first month of playing the game? Probably not because some of the players are going to be spending lots of money and, and they might actually just like have all three of them and we have no idea how many of those players have actually just outright bought a legendary special from the shop. That number increases to 0.6 for players of two months, which is not very much. Three month global players average 0.8 legendary brawlers. Android beta players of eight months average 1.1 legendary brawlers. Beta players of 14 months average 1.5 legendary brawlers and 21 months month beta players averaged two legendary brawlers. Total, if we take a look at all of the legendary brawlers combined, we're looking at an average global number of one legendary brawler per player. That's actually way less than I thought it was going to be, but Makes me feel good about having all three, I guess. Now, as far as the total number of brawlers, iOS beta players average 21.7 of the 24 brawlers. Android beta players average 20.3 of the brawlers. And global players average 18.7 brawlers out of the 24 that are currently available. If you are below those numbers, you are unlucky. And if you are above those numbers, you are lucky. Or if you're a gemmer like me, then that makes you the reason free to play players can continue to play awesome games like Brawl Stars. So thank you. Now, those numbers are actually going to be very very important for you to pay attention to because the number of brawlers that you have is the biggest determining factor on the total number of trophies that you have. For the noob to pro scale that we'll be talking about here in just a minute, if you have fewer brawlers than average, you might actually be higher in skill than the scale would actually suggest. Okay guys, now it is time to talk about the noob to pro scale to, to determine how skilled you actually are at Brawl Stars. And when looking at player skill, I thought about taking this graph that takes the frequency of responses among all the players that play Brawl Stars from this survey. And then separating it into different chunks and determining like if you're above this line, then you're a pro or whatever. The biggest issue with doing that is that trophy level is based off of quite a few different things. The number of brawlers that you have, how long you've been playing for, how much you play every day, if you have Leon. But the most important factor for determining your actual skill level is your win to loss ratio. And while we don't straight up have your win rate and your loss rate in the game to compare, we can do something similar by comparing your player level to your total number of trophies, especially because we have 20,000 data points to compare. The reason why this works is because you gain more EXP for winning than you do when you lose. And of course, after thousands of matches, the skilled players will actually have a higher win rate and higher total trophy count than other players with the same player level. And because of this, this next part actually doesn't matter when when you downloaded the game because we're just going to be taking a look at player level and a player at level 100 that's been playing since the game was first released versus uh, a new player that's also at level 100 will have played roughly about the same amount of games, once again, depending on their win rate and their loss rate. Here is a chart that will help you determine where you land on this scale. All you need is your player level and your total trophies. The lines are actually based off of percentiles. For example, the thick black line with the gray dots in the middle is the 50th percentile mark, meaning that if you're right around that line, you're better than 50% of the players, and that would make you just average. The noob line on the bottom is the 10th percentile, meaning that you're only better than 10 percent of the players you get the idea the thick orange almost noob line is the 25th percentile like i said the thick black average line is 50th the thick yellow above average line is 75th percentile the blue almost pro line is 90th percentile the thick green pro line is 95th percentile and the ultra pro line on the top is the 99th percentile meaning that they have a higher total trophy count than 99 percent of the players players also at a similar player level than them. If you want to know how good you are at the game, take your player level and your trophy count and find out where you are on the chart. This is why I paid attention to math class in junior high or 
high school or whenever they teach this stuff, I don't remember. <laughs> you are whatever line you are closest to. For example, I'm at 134 player level with a total trophy count of just over 12.1 thousand. That puts me right around the pro level at 95th percentile. But I mean, I'm wearing a tribe jersey, so <laughs> you guys already knew I was pro. Anyways, guys, I'm really curious to know where you guys are. Go ahead and drop a comment in the section below letting me know how lucky you are or if you're a gemmer like me so that we can thank you for supporting the game. Also, let me know where you land on the casual to hardcore scale as well as the noob to pro scale. Personally, I'm a dedicated lucky slash gemmer uh, pro player, and that makes me feel like I'm a good person. I'm just kidding. Trophies does not make anybody a better person than anyone else, guys. I mean, really what it comes down to is that we downloaded the game to have some fun. So whether you are a, a casual noob or a, or a hardcore pro, it really doesn't matter. But it's at least fun to find out where you land in comparison to other brawlers. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. It was... <laughs> this one took a long time to make. Oh my gosh. 20,000 responses? I, okay, for real though, it actually crashed the Google survey. Like legitimately, I cannot access the Google survey anymore because it crashed it. There were too many people, guys. Luckily, I had exported it to a Google Sheets, which still continued to gather the responses, so I was able to make the video for a minute there. I was really worried. <laughs> Once again, make sure you subscribe so that you're immediately a better Brawl Stars player than you were before. Uh, for now, <laughs> this is Karo's time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.